My name is Hospital Corman Master Chief Ronald Yusebio, and I'm the senior enlisted leader for Branch Health Clinic Iwakuni, Japan. I've been in the Navy for 29 and a half years. I got recruited uh, uh, through Subic Bay, Philippines as part of that uh, U.S.-Philippine uh, military base agreement the, for the Filipino Enhancement Program, which allows the United States to uh, recruit sailors from the Philippines without going through the U.S. immigration credentials. And I joined back in 1990 of April. Well, I remember when I went through that and there were 500 of us that it's like going through the eye of the needle, as they say. And the uh, recruiter said, gentlemen, congratulations. You made the first step on joining the world's finest Navy, the United States Navy. I think that's the moment I, I cannot forget because that changed everything for me. I started from E1 up to being a mass chief. The main thing that I've learned is enjoy what you're doing. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Don't worry about promotions or awards or anything. Do what you're supposed to do and do it the best you can and everything else will fall into place, including the promotion. I came and joined without any guarantee of anything and uh, just do what you're supposed to do and with hard work, you'll achieve what you want. And I want to share that and hopefully inspire my junior sailors to do the same thing. Master Chief is different from other Master Chiefs that I've worked with, and I've worked with a few, in that he kind of makes everybody feel like family and treats us all like family, which is, uh, it's, not, it's not so unique, but he does it really well. He kind of accelerated my career. Uh, he fixed me up. I know he's done a lot for a lot of people here, and he's changed a lot of lives. I know that he's been doing this his entire career, so we're all thankful, I'm sure. I'm thankful, my family's very thankful. Moving forward, the bar is raised. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for those qualities in all my senior enlisted leaders uh, from now on. So it, there's no excuse that, that he is the standard for me now. The main thing that I'm gonna take away when I retire is uh, the people itself. The Navy is so diverse that I've met people of all kinds from different places, including my deployment. And I realized that we're all the same. You know, everybody wants to do their best and give their everything. That teamwork, even though we're diverse, if I go to the civilian world, I'll make sure that that continues because that is the recipe for mission success, is teamwork. Always give it your best. Don't just give the minimum of what is required. And if you really want something bad, don't let people tell you that you can't. Be all you can be, like they say, and, and do the best you can. The Navy will take care of you. you. You take care of the Navy, its mission and its people, and the Navy will take care of you. And, and I'm one prime example of that, that you from Subic without any guaranteed anything, but I made it up to here. And uh, you know, it's just hard work and dedication. And again, loving what you do makes a big difference.